a lot of his right hand men are, are going to be uh, the, the ones who were with him during his second rebellion, his first rebellion, I should say, because we're undergoing his second rebellion now. Uh, he gets three shots. I've always said that Satan gets three shots to rebel against the Lord before he's finally dealt with. Uh, and, and we're in the second one now because he's going to come to earth and try to deceive mankind with this Maitreya and this Jesus Sonata and these ascended masters. Maitreya, world teacher guy, is not Jesus Christ. Okay? Do not be deceived. Pray for the truth in all things, people, every single day. And this Maitreya has a cloned body of Cain. He is the representative for the Maitreya. His name is Benjamin Krem, and he's next on Coast to Coast Day. A few years, about five years before 1977, when he came down into the everyday world, he had been creating a body which allows him to live in... The Lord had uh, told me how they would be falling from the sky. The Oregon is making the UFOs crash. And this is what has a lot of these Illuminati freaks in a total panic right now. Because they're realizing that what I've been saying is true. <laughs> that uh, every, everything I'm saying is being backed up by evidence. You'll see now, I'm seeing conferences taking place will be in the future, have been in the past, discussing this whole phenomenon. And, and you'll see them try to classify everything, that, about how, they're, how they're classifying meteors. They're not talking about what it is that's falling. And now the media wants you to believe that these are meteors. <laughs> and so if these really were meteors, why would they have to classify that? They wouldn't. And they're using a lot of distraction techniques as they're being distracted by the, the many, many alien forces that are dying as a result of the starships crashing and the UFOs crashing, trying to move on with their agenda. Because a big part of their agenda was Maitreya arriving in a, in a UFO spaceship or however he was going to arrive with the ship. It seems to be they're really attacking you because Glenn Beck on CNN Headline News just had someone on who was talking about the 12th I Man or Mahdi that will be coming back to Iran Iraq to proclaim that Islam is a true religion. They'll offer it to Jews and Christians to accept it. Are they finally waking up to this Maitreya dude on mainstream TV? And that's who it is. It's this 12th imam that Irani, uh, Iran is waiting for. Uh, the problem with Iran is they believe they have to conquer Israel and the United States for him to arrive. Uh, and so that very well could happen. A preemptive attack by Iran onto the United States to create the conditions for the arrival of this Maitreya. The leaders of Iran believe that the end of the world is here. They believe that the Islamic Messiah, the 12th Imam, is coming imminently. That's the word they're using, imminent. And they believe that their mission in life is to hasten or speed up the coming of the Islamic Messiah by destroying Judeo-Christian civilization okay. as we know it. So there was actually a number, okay, that was displayed on CNN. Listen very closely. Thank you for calling Share International. As you may know, humanity has come to a crossroads. Economic and environmental crises threaten our very survival. Historically, during such critical times, the world's greatest spiritual teachers have come to show us the way. Many expect the return of their awaited teacher. Maitreya, the world teacher, has not come alone, but with a group of enlightened teachers. In the Bible codes, I've always seen uh, that these New Age ascended masters, such as Maitreya and his coming Saint Germain, who's going to implement the ec new economic program on Earth, they call it Nasera. They may change the name of it because I've already exposed what Nasera is and they hate being exposed by anything beforehand. Uh, but he's pretty much going to be in charge of the economic program. Uh, the Sananda Jesus that's coming. Maitreya is one of these very dangerous individuals, the fact that he can hypnotize people. And I've warned about this on his day of declaration when he arrives on Earth. Uh, if you follow this Benjamin Cream stuff, 
he talks about how when he arrives on Earth, he's going to speak to the entire world telepathically via the television set. He will come on the television, everyone will see him, but Maitreya will not actually speak. Maitreya is omniscient, omnipresent, and he will create a telepathic link with every adult during the time of this broadcast. And each of us will hear his thoughts in our own language. It is called the Day of Declaration. And I know at that time that every Christian in the world needs to throw the TV sets out and not have them on. And to watch this guy on television, not to listen to him because he will hypnotize you. And I see this in the codes all the time. Uh, where he has this capability of hypnotizing his listeners. And so, uh, uh, and of course, the last one that I posted that I thought was really funny was Code, Hated, Hatred, Arch Enemy, Enmi Enmity, Sherry Schreiner. And of course, Enmity means mutual hatred. Both hate each other. Uh, and so one of the dominant factors of this, this Maitreya when he comes is this hatchet man. Uh, he likes to hack people to death with a, with a blade, with a hatchet. He's going to. He's, he's very hot-tempered. Uh, and not only that, he's dangerous. He's going to put people around him in a hypnotic trance. And they can't get away from him. Uh, and that makes it easy for him to kill people that way. Because he kind of puts them in a stupor. And then he can kill them. Of Satan's kingdom on earth via the New World Order, the Fourth Reich, whatever you want to call it. And, and not only their arrival, but also a radical Islam attempt to take over the world that this Maitreya will be. He's, he's the, the Mahdi, the Iranian Masadi that they're waiting for. Uh, Iranian Mahdi. That's what I've been trying to wake up these stupid New Agers with this information for years. And you know, when, when my trailer arrives in this sea with this Fernando that comes playing the Son of God, we're going to have all kinds of supernatural powers. And the Bible forewarns it. And even though the Bible already forewarns us and tells us exactly what they're going to do, people are still going to fall for him. This uh, Fernando, this, uh, what the churches are going to look at and go, oh, this is Jesus. Because <laughs> he looks just like Jesus, the Son of God, the painting that churches have put up in their churches uh, all these years. Michelangelo painted it. Churches accepted it. Nobody knows what he looks like, but the churches think they do. Well, we don't really know what he looks like, but this has always been the accepted picture of Jesus, the Son of God. That's Satan's one of his generals, the son, Sananda. He goes by Asu Emmanuel. Has various names. He goes by Sananda Jesus Emmanuel. And when he, and when he arrives, he's going to fulfill the position of the false prophet. And sure enough, death and hell coming right behind him. Where the Lord keeps leading me is Revelation chapter 9. So, uh, and, and the reason I bring this up is because it's, you know, we're looking at the arrival of the black horse, which is, I've told you, is Maitreya, the Arab Mahdi prince that's coming. He'll come as a world teacher, and he's dominant with Obama. They're going to be friends. Obama's going to help him get airtime here in the United States. He's going to spit out his agenda and gag everybody to death and they have a whole thing planned and everybody's going to buy it because he's a Muslim, he's an Arab, he's a sheik. Uh, but what will fool Americans is the false prophet that's coming because they've been conditioned to accept this picture of Samantha as Jesus. Maitreya does travel by UFOs as well, uh, but Jesus is going to have the whole entrance in the sky, uh, mimicking the second coming of Christ with the angelic host. He's going to have his UFOs and try to mimic. You can, you can Google Blue Beam Project and learn about how Oz is helping him send to Earth in that way. Of course, he's having some help with some modern day technology to pull that one off. But the sad part is, it's going to deceive so much of the world. Uh, they're going to fall for him. He's going to be a nice guy. He's going to appear as a very likable and nice guy, a gentleman, a little less feminine. But, but the world's going to fall for him uh, because he's charming. Uh, and so, uh, you know, a majority of the world will. The ones who love the Lord won't. Uh, they'll refuse to worship peace as God. Many will die for their faith, and that's why you have uh, so many souls under the altar as depicted in, in uh, the fifth seal. But his war on the saints begins even way before the world is, is commanded to worship them as God. And so his war on the saints will come way before that. 
everybody's going to come after the church when they arrive on earth and they've been uh, bombarded by this, the Wargone warriors, by this Wargone that we have out there, uh, and it destroys their forces, destroys their ships. They're angry, and they're going to come after the Lord's people for doing that. Well, the direction it bore of them, so that everywhere, north, south, east, and west, can see one of these stars. And, of course, they're not stars, but they are gigantic spacecraft. What? They are gigantic spacecraft, each of them about the size of five football fields put together. And so we just need everybody out there get pumping the air with orgone, positive energy orgone. Welcome to the war.